about uh, 10 15 feet off the road there's a dirt pile it's got some old badger holes coyotes have been coming up and checking them out and it's it's got a lot of uphill it's just a spoil pile where they're making these senderos down here in texas so i'm going to put a set in a flat set using a turtle cell which is one of my favorite flat sets because it's almost like you're going to get action i mean it's amazing how that works but i want to talk about how i'm setting this up off this big dirt pile and this can be in grass it didn't really make any difference just use your head when it comes to how you're going to be setting these traps in there think about the coyote now, i could go up there and i could put it in one of these holes i could come down here and just maybe this clump of grass i guess i could just staple it to the ground right there but i have no control with locations like that I'm leaving too much open to the interpretation of the coyote how he thinks he's supposed to enter the set. But when I come over here, this is naturally done this way. I've got natural, they're coming up here anyway. I'm not gonna change hardly anything. I'm gonna, I'm gonna blend a trap. I'm gonna put my turtle shell in, bait lure it. And next time one of these coyotes come up, check these holes out. He's gonna be wearing a number four Sleepy Creek Long Spring. I'm going to try to get this in before the wind keeps picking up because we've got a storm coming in. But basically, I'm using a natural way that I can guide. Can a coyote get up in here and really fight? And I'm not talking about just some grass being blocking, but I'm talking about with these sticks and everything like that. There's a good chance I've, I can narrow down the coyote's approach. He's not going to come in on this side because, I mean, it's just a solid wall of thorns. You've got all these big sticks over here. He may try to come over the top side, but once he gets his body down inside of this little opening, he's probably going to come out where my trap's at. This is what I'm talking about, control. This is how you control a coyote, and this is how you catch more coyotes. One of my favorite things to find is just a, it's a turtle shell. You see them, you know, as you ride around, you see them as you're out fishing, stuff like that. I collect them. I've got a big gutter nail that I drive down through here. This is very natural. You want, you just don't want to lay this thing on the ground without a nail or a rebar or with a disposable wiring it off or something. Coyotes have a way of stealing these things if you don't anchor them down. They really can't get their teeth on them. So if they, if they want to take the turtle shell, they're gonna to have to come back over my trap several times to do it. But you want to make sure that you spike these things down. Okay, I partially covered that with some of the, the natural sticks that are up there. I just don't want this thing sitting out here like aliens put it here last night. I want them to think they look over here and it's something they just hadn't noticed before. So I've kind of put some of the sticks back over the top. Right in here is where the coyotes are going to come because we've got an edge here and an edge here. And this is the higher side. This is where I'm going to put the trap. Right here is where I'm physically going to put this trap. This is beautiful dirt right here too. Got my number four, Sleepy Creek. And another thing with all this brush that's next to me, it's gonna really be really easy to get hide this chain. I wish all dirt was like this down here because some of this I've got to use my fireman's tool just to get a set in. But we are talking coyotes. We disturbed this, so we want to make sure this bad boy is solid. We're not having a dirt pattern per se. I want this thing blended and I want this thing solid. You can, in your mind's eye, hopefully you can see a coyote. He's going to be up here playing with these holes, and when he sees or smells this turtle shell, he's going to come in, and he's going to hug this side. He's just not going to walk right up the middle. Worst case scenario for me is he comes on this other side. I could put another trap, and I could guard that over there, which would be fine. But I'm going to make it a little rougher on him on this other side, but I'm going to help guide him 
right here. Now before I totally uh, sift this trap, I mean you see all this junk that's around through here. So what I'm getting ready to do is not unnatural here, but I'm gonna help let him know where I want him to go. By something about like that, put some, where it looks like it's been born here, it's been here forever. So I'm giving him this option to come on this higher side, which coyotes like the high side, so that's why I'm picking that side. All this loose dirt I'm going to use for sifting. Go down to my paper until I can physically see that pan. So I know exactly where that pan is at. You know, I've, I've done a lot of writing on peat moss and showed videos with peat moss. There's a reason, guys, I don't use that as much down here. Some years I can get away with that. Some years I can't. This is a year I can't. The pack rats were tearing me up. And, and the ground squirrels, last year we had these, I don't even know what they were. They were like big grubs that seemed to focus in on the peat moss. And they would actually lay eggs or something. And these big larvae would screw my whole thing up. That sifted in. That's very natural looking. Drag. I'm going to cover it up to the dirt over here, and I'm going to move my drag around on that side. Now all I've got to do is bait and lure that turtle shell. You can do it before or after. It really doesn't make any difference. I'm going to take some Federales, and I'm going to be using Federales in Gator and uh, Boss Dog. Taking this Federales. By using this turtle shell, It's going to handle the weather extremely, extremely well. If it rains, it's not going to matter. Wouldn't matter with Federales anyway. Definitely wouldn't matter with the boss dog. But it just protects it from sun. Just keeps it lasting a whole lot longer. You can preload these at home. I'm sticking that right in the front. I've got my turtle shell pinned down. I'm using the coyote's habit of wanting to be on the high side. I've got this. This is very natural looking. Basically, the only thing I've done here is put the turtle shell up there and bed a trap in front of it. Now, my trap placement on this is about two feet back. Because if he does get all the way up to that turtle shell, I want a shot on his back feet also. I don't care how I catch him. I just want to catch him. But this is a deadly, deadly, deadly flat set for coyotes. But make sure you pin those shells down or you'll find out how quick they can get around your trap sometime. This is from a coyote's point of view. I'm giving him two options. By habit, he's gonna take the high side more than not. I've got my turtle shell right there. It's not just sitting out here in the open. It's got good smells coming out of it. Turtle shell give you eye peel. They like chewing on these things anyway. It's a killer set, guys. Go out and find those turtle shells and fill those stretchers up.